Street signs that are outdated, damaged, or go missing end up costing the city a pretty penny. As News 13's Marissa Lucetto explains, some signs are replaced way more often than others just because people like the name. Every year, the city sets aside a six-figure budget to replace street signs. We reserve about $100,000 a year in taxpayer funds. Signs typically get replaced for three reasons. They're worn out, they're damaged, or they're stolen. And that happens more often than you think. Sometimes uh, people have the same last name as the street. Sometimes maybe it's just something that a younger population might find that is quite jovial or is a funny matter. Take, for instance, High Street between downtown and I-25. Just this week, a neighbor filed a complaint with the city's 311 app saying the street signs are missing and it's not the first time. I wasn't surprised at all, you know. <laughs> Brett Schuster is looking to start his business along High Street and not by coincidence. Being in the cannabis industry and being able to list that that uh, High Street on the website, uh, it's just it's just too perfect. The city says it's aware of the problem here and that crews replaced the street signs along High Street after the neighbor reported them missing. The resident called us again saying the sign was still missing and it turns out that the sign appeared to have been stolen just as quickly as we replaced it. This is a problem up and down High Street. The city says it seems the faster they replace these signs, the faster they go missing. It's a burden to the city for sure, but what are you going to do? The city says it's looking into that. So that high street sign is stolen so often that we are now looking into ways to try to make it more difficult for somebody to steal that sign. Marissa Lucetto, KRQE News 13. The city says it doesn't officially track which signs get stolen the most.